I'm in a whip, so I gotta zoom. They tryna talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm dead to the tomb. They in a way, they got a room. I got a gas, they want in a fume. So told on my bag, it's something new. Sit it down, you gotta choose. I'm taking my smile, I'm doing something. Hey, I am pre-streaking this window. You see these fingers? The glass is curved and the film is not. So we're gonna heat it up and basically just mold it to, to the glass so we have an easier install. Hmm. This one don't got the TV though. Oh. The interior got some rainbows all in there. Rainbows? Where? Look, look on the little screen. Oh, this? Yeah. That's cool. This one has the, the iPhones in the back. Check the key out. You drive that? This? Yeah. No, you're I'd have a Maybach. Oh, really? Yeah, the wheel's clean though. Okay. What does he say? Just uh, rolling the top down on this convertible so that we can get to the rear quarter glasses. I'm just here to lighten the mood. Yeah. What are you looking for? Uh, water bubbles, air pockets, fingers, trash, hair, skin, uh, any imperfections in the glass or in between the film and the glass.
has to be better than that. A little bit of contamination. Gotta do better than that. Try to extend it. Yeah, you can definitely do the roofs. What's it say? Okay. Uh, match to 15. Okay. What does that mean? Um, see, the rear glass has privacy glass. It's just black glass. You could say dark glass. It's, it doesn't protect anything. And so he's gonna go over there and measure what would be the difference between the 15% on the front two windows that is clear and match the back with some film, lighter film. So it's about the same in color, but it's still gonna protect better than just privacy glass. So it's, it's still gonna have all that quality. Oh, ACG. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what shade we're gonna put on this. Go a little bit darker than that one. What are they trying to get? Uh, 15. Uh, we're trying to get close to like 10. 10. Nah, when it has this color in the glass. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, legally those can be as dark as you want. Uh, most of the time we don't necessarily go that terribly dark with it because most people are just trying to get heat reduction. Uh, so it's, it's whatever you're looking to get done. Mm. I'm gonna get the exact number, which is what I should have done to begin with. Try one more. That's it. Good. That's what you're looking for. That's it, sir. It's gonna be off by about 2%, and that's about perfect. So we're looking. How's it looking now? Oh, now it's looking really good. I love it. Good timing. I know. <laughs> Getting a bumper PPX yeah. or something. And then we have the 50th anniversary sticker. I don't okay. know. So like the other stripe sticker, they they originally had it. They originally PPF over that factory stripe. So like there's we ever sold the car. She was just removed this stripe, and it's 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 wrapped on top. Well, she just removes that and the PPF has the other strap on the bottom. So I thought about, so this one before, before they sold the car, they had the uh, 50th there. Yeah. And then they PPF'd over the 50th. Okay. So that, because we're going to put the camouflage pit 50th well, that matches the, because yeah. originally that's how we had it before. Yeah. They this PPF? Or? Yeah. Let's see it. So. This stuff isn't PPF, is it? Oh, is it? I don't, I don't no. know. No. Oh, okay, maybe it's not. Yeah, you, just like we talked about, we could PPF it, but you'll see the lines, the, this texture right here. Uh -huh. You'll see little lines where the film doesn't lay flat over sure. the texture. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it should be fine. I guess would it be wise to PPF over this? I, I, I kind of like it just because it's so delicate. Yeah. You know? Huh? <laughs> and you, uh, you want to PPF this too? I was thinking about it. Like over the stripe, huh? It's fine if you want. If I do want. want it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like just do it over the top and the hood and the. Uh, okay. So, so at least it protects this part because it's like this is like later. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, just do the best you can with the bubbles, you know. Right, I mean, it's right. what it is. I mean, I'm not going to judge you. Yeah, see, this is textured too. Yeah. So the, the PPF may look weird on texture. That's the only thing I'm going to... I got you. All this texture, it's going to look like crap, to be honest with you. Okay. Now that I'm even feeling it, it's all texture. It's all, all this texture. is that. So maybe we don't PPF okay. that. Gotcha. This would be easy to redo if it ever got messed up yeah. compared to PPF in it too. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I want to do it. I know, I know you <laughs> That's do. That's a $2,000 <laughs> job right there. But I'd rather do it right, you know. Yeah. And that that wouldn't be right. Yeah, they're, they're tuning my R8 right now. So putting put the Motec on it. So Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Too bad you don't do... Uh, Color change wraps. No, just PPF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what I would do if you want to PPF the bumper. My face. Ooh. What's up, dog? How you been? I've been. Okay. Oh, my phone. Sales? Uh, yeah, I haven't been doing a ton of estimates because we're like three weeks out. So we've been dialing back the estimates, but we're still selling somehow. I don't know, we're still three weeks out. It's all Tyler. All me, baby. <laughs> and Randy, Randy, dude, Randy's turning and burning these jobs. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. For PPF. BTR. This car is from a Jotec client. Uh, it was also our friend. This is uh, her GTR. Looks like it has titanium exhaust, ethanol injection. <laughs> Just kidding. Brings me back to Fast and Furious, but in real life. Yeah. Fast and Furious. Yeah, I had a. 2011 about nine years ago you miss it uh i don't miss it but it is one of the best cars that i think best driving cars that i've ever had for the money for sure like no no competition or comparison bang for buck Film? Uh, it's got the film now, so now the sticker. Oh. Okay. Right on. Got one more piece here in the little squares, and that's it. Right on. Are these the club masters? Yeah. Look inside Where's the, look the place at? Look inside the freezer. Somebody went to the ice cream store and didn't tell nobody. That's not, the that's, that's not what a team would do. The politaria. The politaria. The politaria, yes. Yeah. I thought so. Your kid would like this one, right? Yeah. 
the proletariat, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody would buy yeah, that, Tony. Are you trying to sell these? Rice. Are you, is he trying to sell rice. these? Rice, ice cream. Rice is really good, dude. Rice? It's like horchata. It's basically horchata. George, George is going to look at the video like in two weeks and be like, they're, they're messing with my ice cream. Rice is really good. What is this mess? What is going on? Look, look, look at this fire right here. Whoa. Oh. What? What? Wow. That's crazy. 20th, no, it's not 20th, it's 50th anniversary. <laughs> GTR. Obviously, it's a females. The pink calipers, wrap stickers. It's a good looking car, but I couldn't drive it. Too much pink for me. But I believe that's a her GTR. Friends at Jote. Jote. So last week I was talking about communication. I was talking about the master at my son's Taekwondo school and how I was going to communicate with him and uh, hopefully fix the situation that we were having a misunderstanding possibly about or maybe he's mad at me or whatever you know that it might have been and uh, so I actually spoke with him yesterday so this is a continuation of that and he actually thanked me and he said just like kind of one of the options that I thought it could have been he's very busy you know he's got hundreds of students and uh, he's happy that I did reach out to him now he did teach me a few things so this is on my part too it's my fault that I didn't reach out to him because I don't know Taekwondo um, he probably could have done a better job of explaining uh, the the next things and uh, you know what what those things mean and how he would learn and get the new uh, tape on their belt if you know anything about taekwondo move to the next belt i don't know and he didn't probably explain to me that well because he has so many other people to worry about so it's not just his fault it's also my fault because i have google you know there's so many things youtube that i could have learned myself but i'm glad that i did communicate that to him and we had a good conversation now my son i and the teacher our master, we're all on the same page and uh, we're going to practice those things that Liam needs to uh, get better at, which is like self-confidence, um, not just doing the moves, but doing the moves, you know, fast and hard, you know, and uh, you know, some other things as well that, you know, that he told us that we need to work on and uh, we're gonna belt test next month. So that's our goal. Now we have a target. Now the master knows where we're at. We know where he's at. We know where Liam's at. And we also know what Liam needs to learn. So communication is so important. And the same thing at work. There's probably, you know, 10 guys, 13 guys here. And uh, I probably haven't talked to one of them as well. And they're like, what am I doing? What I need to work on? Um, so it also goes into your life, your job, your, you know, your relationships your kids, your wife, your employees, your boss, communicate. If there's something unclear and you're starting to make up stuff in your head, he doesn't like me, she doesn't like me, whatever it is, sometimes people are just dealing with their own stuff and they don't know. So I hope this brings you a great message. I hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you next week.